So, we're doing this video as a response to the news broadcast done by Fox News about the pagan and Wiccan community. As a pagan couple, we found that their broadcast was disrespectful and untruthful. A lot of the things that they said in the broadcast were not true as, as far as the pagan community is concerned. It was rather rude and offensive on how basically we had been mocked. Um, some of the certain jokes that were <coughs> being made and the fact that it is very apparent that they had not done their research before even setting up North's broadcast the session. <coughs> um, Fox News has taken down the video and well, as a pagan community, there are going to be those who will download the said video and post it up on their own so then we can actually find it. And there have been many people who have been speaking out about this. Um, some people being the first that I have, um, of how I found out about this was by Tiptoe Chick. I watched her rant last night. Um, some others are Midnight Wiccan 18, Raven Night Song, Alora Rain, The Violet Cat, and there have been um, status updates by authors such as Raven Gramassi. Um, publishers have gotten involved such as Llewellyn, who is one of the largest pagan publishers known, um, and also pagan communities have um, gotten involved with pagan groups. And, you know, going on to um, causes.com or causes.org, um, <clears throat> however it is, um, and looking at the position that has over 12,000 signatures, we are not a small community. You know, saying that, no, there aren't that many Wiccans or Pagans that exist, that is inaccurate. First off, we do not have 20 holidays. We have eight that are known. Yes, we have about 12 to 13 espits, but that is not included. That is something completely different. Um, you know, saying that we are players of Dungeons and Dragons and that we are um, twice divorced midwives who love incense. You know what? Fuck you. I'm a 24-year-old woman. 25 myself. And he is male. He is not a midwife. <laughs> At least I would hope not. <laughs> as far as the, the Dungeons and Dragons goes, I myself have not been pagan for very long. I'm a, form, a former Baptist seminary, seminary student. Yeah, I play Dungeons and Dragons. As a Christian. And all of my friends that played were Christians. By the way, there were 12 of us on a bad night. Playing Dungeons and Dragons is a game. It has nothing to do with specific religions or spiritualities. It is a game. Just like, you know, going on to Facebook, you're going to find many different spiritualities, many different religions. People who don't even believe in anything, such as atheists. Um, and so targeting and mocking Wiccans and Pagans publicly, nationally, is rather offensive. Um, <clears throat> Along the lines of what some of the other people that we've seen videos for, for were saying, it, it honestly seems like Fox News did not do their research. I mean, where did you get that we have 20 holidays? That's what I'd like to know. You know, I mean, we're pagan. We don't live in a rural area. We live right on the edge of town, just inside city limits. You know, my closest neighbor, I can hit their, their trailer house with a rock from my window. Not that, you know... Not that I would. <laughs> I actually like my neighbors. Um, as far as, you know, incense lovers, how often do we burn incense? Not that often. Hardly ever. You know, we have it. But we don't hardly ever use it. I love my candles. 
Candles are better. <laughs> Especially because the scents give me a headache. So, I mean, where'd you get your information from? Honestly, we feel, just like everybody else, that Fox News owes us a public apology. Not only that, Wicca itself is newer, I should say, than paganism. Paganism, paganism has been around for a lot longer than Catholicism, a lot longer than Christianity. Um, Wicca was basically founded by Gerald Gardner in the 1950s. Um, paganism itself, our pagan holidays, come from the old religion. The majority of them are Gaelic. The majority of them are Welsh. We have Samhain, as some people call them, Samhain, which is also known as Halloween. We have Yule. We have Imbolc. We have Ostara, Beltane, Litha, which is the summer solstice. We have Lunasa, and we have Maybon. That is eight Sabbaths. Not twenty. And in order for, you know, known anchors in order to come on to national television in order to spew out, um, shit that isn't even fact, it's kind of like them just opening up a can of fucking worms and expecting, you know, with deleting the video, kind of making it seem like it never fucking existed. Guess what? You open up that can of worms, and you have pissed off a whole community of pagans, Wiccans, and witches. Yeah, that video clip, just because you removed it from, from your website, it is all over YouTube. It's all over Facebook. I wouldn't be a bit surprised to find it on Twitter. No. Well, I can't wait. surprised. I can't wait to read some tweets about that. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's out there. You took it off your website. Great. Guess what? Your headlines, your anchors, your words are still in the clip. It's still out on the internet. Anything you put out is going to remain there. You guys should already fucking know this. Whatever you put on the internet is going to stay there. It is open domain in order to download and use. Um... Nor for us in order to save to our computers and upload them as we please due to the fact that you guys just fucking deleted it. Nor to hide the fact that this even fucking happened. And yes, we have it. Yes. Now, is it personally offensive? Yes. But you have pissed off a whole entire fucking community. You have generalized us into people that we aren't. We are not midwives who are second, you know, second divorced, or twice divorced, I should say. Um, we do not play fucking Dungeons and Dragons. Magic the Gathering cards have nothing to do with what we do. It's a card game. Just like Solitaire! <gasps> Gee, I wonder how many of y'all play Solitaire, or Skippo, or Uno. Skippo! And yet, you know, obviously because magic is in the name of the game, we're involved. How and why are the two questions that come to mind. And also, um, in order to relay what has already been said, um, Wicca is not witchcraft. Wicca is a branch of paganism. Um, Wiccans are not always going to be witches. Witches are not always going to be Wiccan. It is easier in order to classify us, ourselves, as Wiccan due to the fact that there isn't so much stigma on the word Wiccan as there, are, as there is on the word witch. Quite honestly, I'm a draconic witch, but it's a hell of a lot easier in order to classify myself as Wiccan because People won't understand. People, when they hear the word witch or they think of the word, they automatically think evil. Thanks to Hollywood and the mediums 
media such as yourselves putting shit out there that isn't fucking true. So as a community, not just us, as a community, we are asking for an apology. In order to actually put out facts, do your fucking research and correct the misinformation that you have put out there for the public in order to hear and believe. And while you're at it, why don't you cite your sources to yeah. prove to us that you have done this research? And quite honestly, I give thumbs up to the University of Missouri. I have looked at their list of holidays. It is not just Wiccan and Pagan holidays. They have Hindu, they have Christianity, they have Buddhist. They have a whole range of different holidays that are listed and respectfully described. I give kudos for including the Islamic holidays. Yeah. There is a whole list of different holidays that are being recognized. Not just pagan, not just Wiccan. A whole entire list that are that is respectfully described so that others can understand them. And appreciate them for what they are. As it had been stated, we are of the earth. We do not go out and bash Christians and Catholics. So you know what? Fuck you, Fox News.